Here's Connor's data versus Matthew's data for their temperature of their city. First, we find the lowest temperature, which is 50, and the highest temper, which is temperature, which is 82. You're looking at both of the data sets. So in order to create a back-to-back -back stem and leaf plot, you need to put the stems down the middle. Now I'm going to take Connor's data, and I'm going to be putting um, the numbers backwards on the left. So you're starting with um, the least and branching outward. So it's a little bit different than we did before, but we're starting on the left side, so it's going to be backwards from what you normally do. Okay, so basically you're going to start on the inside and work your way out. And I missed the 70 here, so I'm going to put that 70 in. Now for Matthew's data, it's a little bit different. Um, you need to label that size, so you know that's Matthew's data. And we're doing the same thing. This is like a regular stem and leaf plot. So what you're used to seeing, go from the inside out or least to greatest. I'm just finishing that up now. Notice how at the bottom the keys are a little bit different than you're used to seeing. There are two keys. That's because you have two sides of the back-to-back -back stem and leaf plot. This means you need to have a key for Connor's data as well as Matthew's data. So on the left side, you see the key for Connor's data. What looks like it should be 35 degrees Fahrenheit is really 53 degrees Fahrenheit because remember you're starting on the inside and you're working your way to the left.